Well, I just finished walking down the road and back and I had filmed it with the cover on. <laughs> and here you thought you got away with something, right? New. Well, I guess it's time to unbox the second of the saws, and that's the new, for them, XT version of the 372 or the X-Torque version. Why would you copy that version? But I think an even more important question is how much of the stuff on this X-Torque version We'll swap over to the, the standard OEM X Torque. So, yet again, it's boxed and packaged pretty much in the same way as the John Cut was. Kind of a cocoon. It also has a set of tools. And Bucking spike times two. That's going to be popular right there for any of the 372s. Check that out a T handle. Four millimeter, three millimeter, and I believe that's four millimeter. That might be useful. Wrench, screwdriver, I'm not sure what these small ones are for, but that uh, top hat is obviously for the chain brake handle. Okay, I don't think I've ever seen one with the L6 marking, I don't know what that means. File. Um, the first couple ones I had, they didn't seal well, but they got better. And here's the manual. I don't know if this is a direct copy of Husqvarna or not, to be honest with you. Let's see what we have for a saw inside all this wrap. So here's the saw. This is pretty much built by the same people, I believe, as do the uh, the XP version instead of the. Yeah, this looks like the same handle that was used on the XP version of the 372. Now I had gotten that last year. It ran all right. I struggled with it for a little while, and then I was able to make it work correctly. But, of interest, this plastic right here is going to be a little taller than the original edition because an x torque cylinder is taller. And the chain brake should be taller as well. And I believe it is possibly the handle. So now there may be an aftermarket source of parts for the X-Torque. That's my first my first impression. Now I, I do have an X-Torque that I can put up as a comparison. We can start swapping parts around and see. Well, I prefer the handle that's on the the G372 as compared to the XP version. The other problem I'm having right here before we even get started is this throttle is not right and I don't know why. I can't get to full throttle number one and 
see it's not operating properly at all so I wonder if it's installed improperly so as it comes right now you cannot run the saw because this throttle is not working at all doesn't go to full throttle and does not return I had very good luck with their G372 which was the lower cost version of the 372 style saw it had a better handle in my mind and basically I didn't really have a lot of issues it leaked a little bit when I first got it out of the box but after that it was pretty good and then turned into a very solid saw Bob has it right now he's been running it now for almost a year and we've had no problems with that saw it runs good you know I think this John Cutter coming out of the box has a better uh, feel to it better aura for lack of a better word well here's an OEM cover and here's the the farmer tech so there's some differences for example take a look at how this is recessed up in here that's projected and recessed where that's just flat so they are not exactly the same how about the inside that's pretty similar but the one thing that is the same is this one has that additional height that's required so we have now found an aftermarket cover that will work on the x -Torks. that's a positive this chain break will probably fit OEM as well so that's a plus so there's two parts now that are aftermarket um, possibly the top cover we're gonna see the carburetor appears to be a copy of the the wall bro which is on X Torques and I'm not sure of the intake but down the road we're gonna go through and start pulling that stuff apart to see so what's going on with the throttle how come I can't make that thing work with that held down it will not return release that returns so it's not the cable it's not the carburetor it's this handle and I wonder sometimes if it just makes sense to take that one off and just put another farmer tech handle on the ones I do like the ones that have a rounder plastic casting I don't know if I have one I think the only explanation as to why they, the G372 XP and now the G372 XT have these square handles is this is a saw package that's assembled somewhere else it's not assembled by farmer tech it's not by their people and it's a different supplier and they supply a complete saw so I'm not sure if I go any further with the saw or not or do I just change the handle out that might be what I do now this one has been delivered with the side cover on so it didn't get damaged in transit the way the the John Cutter did. You know? I mean that looks pretty typical. It's a nice, nice looking part. So there's another good part. I have the chain break on. That all lines up nicely, you know. The cases they look good. Let's take a look on the inside and see if it has a stiffening rib like the later version of the 372s do. See this one here on the inside of the tank I can't really show you with the camera but trust me when I tell you is on the G372 and some of the cases I was getting uh, from Farmer Tech, the ones that had the oil slot just a little bit off um, they didn't have a stiffening rim on this half of the case up on the top of the bar oil tank this set of cases do so I suspect that these cases are a bit of an upgrade um, but again they're, they're, I don't think they're selling these these cases by themselves I don't think they are I'm not going to pull a cylinder off today but one of the things we need to do is to pull a cylinder to see whether or not the flange the way the OEM X torque cylinder is because if it is now we have a source of, of cases 
as well for a next torque. And I've had a lot of the OEM X torques that have the cases fail in the sense that the PTO side bearing uh, fails and it eats out the, the bearing pockets. Other than this handle, uh, I'm seeing good news. I'm seeing a fair amount of good news. Of course, we have to get it to run, and I'm not going to run it with that handle. I'm just simply not going to do that. So in order to get that saw in a configuration that I can actually test, I'm just going to pull this old handle off of another saw I had and stick it on there. You gotta be freaking kidding me. That freaking uh, head in there is round. It's not even a hex. There's no way of getting it out of there. It's not even stripped, it's just round. There it goes. I was able to drill and get that thing out with an easy out. This one has a better cable. Fuel line looks pretty good too. So, this is how I wanted to start my day is swapping out handles. Not. Nah.
this saw here is very, very nice for any money. Very nice front and little saw. Let's see if we can get this other one to run. But this is that John Cutter 5800. Very nice little saw. And it ran good right out of the box. Okay, this is the G372 XT. And pretty much I haven't changed anything about the carburation or nothing. It's running a little bit fat. And I don't see that as a big issue really. To be perfectly honest with you, I think for the first tank or so I'm gonna leave it as it is. Now it started up in about six poles. It really didn't take a lot to get this started. So, as compared to the 372 XP, even though I had to change the handle to get some runtime on it, this one's actually starting and running better than that one did when I first got it. So that's saying something. There's been improvement here. It actually runs pretty good. This is going to be the uh, race of oddballs. How's that? I have the John Cutter G5800 right there. Right out of the box. That saw was running pretty clean, pretty crisp. I put a Suji on it and uh, I changed the sprocket out to 3125. That's the G372 XT. And I had to change the tank so I could get it running today because the throttle on the tank that came with it wasn't working properly but just to get an idea of how they run I figured we just throw a tank on it which I did and right next to that is it's a 372 X torque OEM job right there probably from 2012 with a really whoop chain so that's what the guy is going to have when he decides to buy a new saw and if he looks at that that's where he's going to start from comparing not from a brand new crisp one you know what I'm saying that G372 XT has a brand new LGX chain and a pretty fresh bar that chain's got some time on it this chain here is whooped to death it's one of those chains where the guy sharpens it to the nth degree so there's not much chain left and for a spoiler how about a little 42 from the 1980s with an Oregon speed cut, 20 inch speed cut uh, bar and chain combination. What I should do is put that Oregon speed cut on that saw. But for now it's on the 42cc 1980s era Husqvarna. How do you think it's going to compare to all these hot rods? Huh? So I took this tree down with a John Cutter. I can tell you right now it's a nice running saw, easy to start, doesn't vibrate much, it's pretty lightweight. So for $108 right now, it's, it's a steal. So let's see how it compares in that famous cookie cut type thing as compared to these other saws. I'm just gonna run them one right after another. And I have no idea how this is gonna play out. I'm just gonna put the camera right down there. There you go. New saw first. New chain. G372 XT.
Well, this is not really tuned well just yet, and I can tell you it's picking up power pretty quickly, so it's not really fair to this saw to compare it to the other two saws, except for possibly the G5800. Let's see if it restarts. See, it's not running good. Unfortunately, doing the same kind of things that the G372 XP did, where at the beginning the carburetor was wandering all over the place, and it not being able to start on the first pull. That's better. After a series of cuts, is one of the clues that the carburetion's not quite there yet. So let's go right to the G. a lot better sorted out right out of the box. It has good power for what it is. Now remember it's only a 60cc saw where the other one was a full 70. It does not have a fresh chain where the other one had a fresh chain. And I could push on this bar. In fact had to. I really could not push on the 372 XT version. So that 372 XT is really not fair right now. It needs to get tuned up and broke in. But it should be noted that out of the box, that right out of the box, this saw right here is running better. Okay, let's go to a OEM X part. See what it does with a really lousy chain. Will it even start? <laughs> Can tell you right now coming off that saw going on to the aftermarket saw that person who's running this saw in this configuration is not going to be impressed let's see if it restarts okay so this this is I would say what a senior saw is it's a mature saw at the end of its life and the person who would be buying the one that I have there would be probably running something like that, right? So let's take a look at this little, this little 42. This is a 40cc saw, okay?
1980s era 40cc saw runs like. I have no idea what it's going to look like on times. So after we run those other three saws, let's go back to the G372 XT and maybe with a cool down and a smaller log it'll run better. So we're going to go back and spend a little time on this saw to try to tune it better. But that's how it is out of the box. Well, I think we have some uh, video to make. And I think I'm going to leave it at that for today. The first impression is really this, and it's regardless of what the times say. It looks like I'm going to have to fight to get the power out of it, like I did with a G372 XP from the same source. The G372 that came from the Pharmatech sources that had the different tank handle was a little easier for me to get running clean. Now, in the defense of the G372 XP, I eventually got it to run pretty well. And I suspect I'll be able to get this XT to run in a similar fashion. But uh, right now, I can tell you, if you're coming off a wore out 372 XP X Torque, and expect that to run the same level. I think you're going to see from the times that's just not happening. I don't think it's in the cards. But for a $200 saw, $250, whatever they go for delivered, you know, now that's that's really the metric you have to go by. And to this point in time, of the three 372 variants that come from the uh, the PharmaTech folks, the Hulse Pharma folks. The G372, just a simple one, is the best that I've seen so far. And this one in the XP, well, I really have to give this one a chance. I remember, and you probably remember the video when I first had the XP out in the woods. I was struggling quite hard. This one here, actually, I'm not struggling quite as hard. But, of course, the temperature isn't quite as cold either. So, let's just give it a chance and see what happens before I, you know, make any kind of a of a, an assessment. But here's the good news and the good news is that there is now obviously a source of of plastic you know for the top cover and the handle and stuff like that. I don't know yet about the cases. That's really what I'm looking forward to. The two things I really want out of this saw after we try to get running as good as I can is I want to see if I can make that uh, intake system to an original edition top end like I've done before and I want to see if I can use those cases for you know repairing an X torque if those two things happen I don't really care how this runs it's a win anyway oldie but goldie whoop chain you saw how it run a mid 1980s early 90s 40 cc saw right the John Cutter G 5800 for a hundred dollars actually a hundred and ten dollars. How's that? I think that's a steal right now and Assuming it lasts. We'll see how long it lasts With a configuration that it has with a cylinder in the cases There's some real simple and easy hop-ups we can do to that saw It'd be a lot of fun And then there's this one and like I said, well, we'll see I Think it has to take a little bit of time to break in and I have to do some work on the carburetor and stuff to get it to run to its potential.